Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 23 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay, so, um, off screen I've been doing, uh, I've been, I've been playing off screen for quite a while now, and here's, I'll show you, I'll show you what I've been doing. Basically, I've been grinding rupees, cause, well, as I explained in the last episode, I think, I hope, uh, you need to get 5,000 rupees in order to, um, in order to get a heart piece, yeah, you need to deposit five thousand rupees with that banker guy, and then you will, and then you will have a, he'll he'll give you a heart piece. There, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I also feel like I owe you guys a bit of an apology for the last episode. Not really, but I don't know, just to clear my conscience a little bit. It's like, cause I got pretty pissed off at that dog racing mini game, cause it's just so freaking annoying. But Normally, I don't get that mad at video games, and I was just kind of, I don't know, humiliated. But, oh well. So, I'm sorry about getting so mad. I'm sure it was funny for a lot of you, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's the first rupee that I, that I, like, basically what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, hour or so, is just, uh, getting that rupee, and then getting the other silver rupee. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about. What you talking about, Willis? It's up here. Okay. Over this way, yep. And, uh, yeah, I've been getting these two rupees, which basically fills up your wallet, since my wallet can only carry 200 rupees, because it's so freaking tiny. And, um, then depositing them with the banker guy, and then resetting the day, playing this long time, going back, and booyah, there you go. Okay. And, yep, there we go. Yeah, this is basically... Can can you tell why I didn't want to, like, record me doing this whole thing, getting all 5,000 rupees? I think I would run out of commentary pretty quick, since I've already pretty much run out of commentary now. Okay, so talk to this guy and deposit rupees. And as you can see, if he just... Hurry up, fourth... Okay, you might have missed it there, but... Because I skipped the text, but... It's, he said I have 4,960 rupees. So, I'm just going to go ahead and deposit 40 of these rupees that I have here, and... Yep, I'm depositing 40 rupees, and that's a lot, a lot, a lot. Yep. Okay, and that makes a total of 5,000 rupees. And, what's this? You've already saved up 5,000 rupees? Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. And, peace of heart, yay. That makes three, so one more, and we've got a new heart container. Booyah. Huh. Oh, also something I think I should show. You remember these cows that I've been pointing out everywhere? Yeah, moo. Well, there's something I actually didn't know about them until I watched, uh, I think it was Donabelle's last play of this, and that's when you roll into this, you can look at the cow, and it's like a bobblehead. I just think that's so awesome. Like, that's, that's cool. It doesn't have, like, yeah. Oh, it has a face on the other side of its head. Wow. That's weird. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I need to do for now. For this, for, like, this... For the mini games and stuff that I can do after uh, after the Woodfall Temple, um, I'm sure there's a few other things I could do, but they involve other side quests that I want to do all at once. I don't know; it's it's hard to explain, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and move on now. Aren't you excited? We actually get to move on with the story for once. Holy crap! Okay, so uh, what do I have to do here again? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'll just avoid the Dodongo. I don't want to be fighting him right now. And trying to find my way up here. Um, oh, there's a ramp over here. Okay. I was going in the wrong direction, man. Getting all turned around. And upside down and tricky dicky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, also, sorry for lack of videos lately. Um, damn it, I need arrows. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the back lack of videos lately. I've been busy with, like, homework and stuff. In fact... I should be doing homework right now, but you know what? I have deprived you guys of, vid of videos for too long now. And I think I recognize that song that was on the mystery wall of music notes. Okay, can I have some arrows, please? Arrows, there we go. There's some. I'll just clear out this area, I suppose. Why am I not using spin attacks like that? Seriously. God, I'm an idiot. Okay. And yeah, here's why you need arrows, by the way. Uh, get this out. 
And we're gonna go ahead and shoot that thing. And, okay, I guess I have to shoot it again. There you go. It knocks that down and it destroys it. Ice on ice and everything shatters. That sounds like a line from a poem or something, doesn't it? Okay. So, yeah, that's basically it. And that's how you gain access to the mountains. Which is obviously the next area that we need to go to. Okay. It's all the snowy mountains. Booyah. Ooh. God, I really don't want to be in here right now. Because, like, in Canada, we've just received, like, massive snowfalls lately. Like, it's been perfectly clear up until, like, a few days ago. And then, bam, snow out of nowhere. Just, like, God. Uh -huh. Oh, no gold sculptures in that tree? Okay. God. Okay. Uh, there's giant snowballs here. I think you can blow them up with bombs and stuff, but I don't feel the need to. Uh, God, why are tech types just randomly jumping out of here? They're like, they're like ninjas hiding in ambush, and they're poning me. Thank you. God. Oh, you can destroy the little ones, okay. With your sword, anyways. How much time do I have left? Give me an answer. Only 69.56 remaining. Cool. Okay, um, ooh, looks like we might need bombs. Is there anything else around here? Um, no? Whoa, I, I slide. I'm not even on ice, though. I'm on snow and I slide. That's cool. It's cute. No pun intended. So, we'll grab our bomb mask here. And where? There it is. Okay. And, oh, what do you want, tattle? Oh, did you just want to tell me about the snowball? Okay. Yes, I realize there's a giant snowball in my face, Tattle. God, I'm not that much of an idiot. You're gonna make me sad. Okay, what does the sign say? Mountain village ahead. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Goron should be able to break the snow boulders easily. Cool. Why are Gorons living in, like, snowy regions anyways? Like, last in the last game, they were living in a volcano, so... Are they, like, why are they living up here now? Uh, that's kind of spoils because they haven't really said that they live up here, but, oh well. Hey, there's some rupees back here. Yeah, two whole rupees. It's totally worth it. Come on now. And, Mountain Village? Yep, there it is. Mountain Village. Population, one. No, it's actually population two. There's two people in that house, I think. Neither of them are Gorons, by the way. Stupid sign. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's an that was an awkward set of camera angles there, but we made it. Okay, Mountain Smithy. What's this place about? Hey, okay. is there a guy there? Can I talk to him? Hey. Shut up! Just when I was having a good dream. Oh, welcome to the Mountain Smithy. We take our time to make a good point. I am Zubor, the owner. Pleased to meet you. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Shut up over there. That huge fellow is my assistant, Gavora. He's all brawn and about as smart as a Deku stick. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpened? I guess. Uh, I don't know. Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because of this abomin abnormal snow cat. Cold, abor ugh, wow, abnormal snow, abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth has been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. If I could just do something about that frozen hearth. Ugu, ugu, ugu. Eh, what's that? You say if we had hot water, we could melt the ice off the hearth? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you Dehu stick. Dude, you made that reference once, and it's not funny anymore. It's not a reference, it's a joke. What am I talking about? Oh, he believed a rumor that says long ago there were hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. That's tomfoolery. How could there be any hot springs in the cold area like this? Oh, wait. That's a common natural phenomena. Never mind. He's just an idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, ho, ho. Up here, up here. I am so sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I am very hungry and I have gotten stuck here. Can't you just top down? It's not. It's not very high jump, buddy. God, you idiot. Okay, there's a sign there. I'm just gonna pass by it. And stone owl, sweet or stone bird. 
guess it's technically not an owl, but who knows. Okay, uh, there's this massive wall here. Hmm, that's so intimidating. Will we ever be able to do anything about that? Who knows? Who really knows? Okay, so we've got a few different ways we can go here, I think. We can head either this way, which goes to, uh, this goes to Snowhead, but we're slippery there. So this goes to, like, the Snowhead area, which is not the area I don't think we want to go. So we're going to go ahead and head over in the other direction that we can. Over behind the house and, uh, and or the such. God. This heads to the Goron village. Okay, so there's a mountain village with one house and a Goron village with God knows how many houses. Okay. Ah, get out of here. Oh, oh my God. Freaking ninja tech tights. God. And there's a hill here that we can't seem to get up. I want to go up there, though. Damn it. If only we had a power that allowed us to, like, roll up that hill or something. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, white wolfos. Just, they, they die in one hit, just like normal if you backslice them like that. And there's Tingle up there. If you see. Do you see Tingle up there? He's floating high in the sky. There he goes. So much easier to hit that balloon now that we have arrows. Okay, do you have any maps that I don't have, Tingle? Yeah, yeah, I know I'm... I look like a fairy, whatever, and you're like 34 and stuff. Uh, oh, I never went back for that, like, contest, did I? In the swamp. Oh, maybe I'll do that next episode. Okay, we've got Snowhead and Romani Ranch. Do I have Romani Ranch? I'll buy Romani Ranch, sure. Why not? There we go. We'll call again, and... Kululimpa! Yeah, go away, Tingle. No one likes you. You and your spinning around. Uh, did I ever, like, scan these guys? It's a white wolf. It's a white wolf. Literally, and watch its movements. It doesn't like its tail to be touched. So I guess that's the hint that it gives you to the fact that you can just one-hit KO them by hitting them in the tail. Yeah. Just like, ow! My tail, you jackass! I never let anyone touch my tail. Oh, the humiliation. I have to burn in a blue fire now. Blech. Okay, so we've got Goron Village here now. It looks much more lively than a mountain village. It's cold. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is <laughs> hard. Do you want to enter the Goron Shrine? Uh, I suppose. Why not? And I'll open the door with a Goron Pound. I'm going to close it right away. So if it doesn't get, so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? And Goron Smash or Pound, whatever. Okay, and the door's already open. I'm going to close it right away. So hurry up. Okay, okay, I'll hurry up. Jeez. So it's right underneath him, and there you go. Okay. Oh, this is great. Wow. Oh, no. Is that a baby crying I hear? Oh, uh, well, I can't actually hear it because there's so much background noise around here, but I think there's supposed to be a baby crying in the background. If there's not, then I'm going to look like a total idiot. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hear him now. Even past all the background noise, that ear-splitting babies cry. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> daddy, daddy, I'm cold, daddy. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! No! Get uh, oh. God, that's like the one sound that I can't tolerate. It's like a baby's cry. It's so freaking annoying. Like, just listen to that. Oh, uh, ear splitting. Horrendous sounds. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I can't go over this thing? Fine. I'll just jump over the fence then. There you go. Ah, uh, is there anything down here? Can I go through this door? Is there salvation between behind this door? <gasps> the baby's cry is gone. Why isn't everyone just huddled in here? This is a rare sight. Wow, okay, so... Eh, nothing much of interest here. Okay. Ah, uh, he looks really bored there. As do all the shopkeepers, I suppose. Well, at least he doesn't have to listen to this. God. Hey, what do you say? This store's having trouble getting product because of the cold. The things are kind of expensive now, so you shouldn't shop here. Fine. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> maybe if we get rid of the cold, then they'll lower their prices. But how are you ever going to get rid of the cold on a mountain? A snow-capped mountain? 
Oh, oh, look at my timer. Wow, 15 minutes already. Jeez, I feel like I haven't done anything, even though we're in an entirely new area and we're pretty far into it already. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching my kind of return from a unintentional hiatus. So, yep, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.